G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Uh, I'm back at one of my favourite spots local to home, which is the Wungong Dam. It's just beautiful down here. But let's get started. As you can tell by the title, what's in this bag? Let's get it out and show you and go through all the specs. Now this, I've been looking at this now for probably about 18 months and been almond yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Then I went, okay, yes. And I went to order it and it was out of stock. And it took 12 months to get it back in. And I eventually got it. And let's see. Take that out, that's my bits. It's the Evernew Titanium Solo Pop Set. Now, some of you may think, well, you've got enough titanium pots, enough titanium sets for cooking. But this, I really like. So, I thought I'd show you over it. A few benefits about this one. Straight away, as you can see, the cups fits on the outside. So the actual main pot sits in the cup. So all the space inside is very handy. But let's start with the lid. Very nice quality. Nice silicon grip there, so you're not going to burn your fingers when you get it off the pot on the stove. Again, in the main pot, it's a 750ml pot. And it's got graduates. If you look on the outside, the back to the front. We got them in ounces and millilitres, or ounces this side and millilitres that side. And on the outside it's 200, 400, 600, so your 750 is going to be at this level here. So if you are going to boil that, you know it's going to be spitting and bubbling over if you take it too far. So realistically, you're looking at here, an easy 600 millilitre pot with room to spare. And again, it's got these lovely... I don't know what you call them, the, the butterfly handles, they come out. They're nice and firm at the moment, so they're not rattling around. Again, these have got the silicon on them. It's got a nice, comfortable hole to it. So again, getting that off the stove, you've got the silicon there, so you're not going to be burning your hands. And the cup, let's get this as well, before I get onto the main parts of this. It's a 400ml cup, this is and it's got the gradients in millilitres on the side I'll show you on the outside here, you've got the 150, 250, so your 400 is going to be up here so it's going to be able to hold a decent coffee in the mornings or if you like bigger coffees, you can be able to use it twice but you can see the gradients inside quite easy there I hope again, it's got the silicon handles or the coating on the handles which one, it improves the grip, the same as here, that's the word I was thinking of earlier. And if you're going to actually heat your water in the pot, as you're getting off the stove, it's not going to be as hot, so you're not going to burn your fingers, which some of you may know I do quite often. Quality of this is very, very nice. So, you know I've got some other ones, uh, to be honest, this does beat it in the workmanship. And as you know, it's the Evernew uh, Solo Pot Set. I had to look down what it's called, then I went blank. And Evernew is a Japanese company, and they pride themselves on quality workmanship. And this, yeah, th this is quality workmanship, but going by what I can see, and a lot of thought has gone into it. So again, even with the handles out, the 750ml pot will sit inside the cup. Let's get it in the shot better. So now the pot, like I say, it's 750ml with the gradients, your handles come out with the silicon, good grip, steady, a lot easier for pouring. Okay. So one of the major things that drew me to this is, with my other pots, the cups go inside, so that's taken some of the storage space, and it's not as useful as this pot. Now this one, 
as you saw the cup go around the outside of it at the bottom so all the space inside leaves enough space for one 100 gram gas canister two 100 gram gas canister and three with the tripod uh, pot stand or cylinder support or gas support at the bottom or the stabiliser they've got different names, different places different designs, different companies they've all got different names for them but they're all tripod and they are very stable, very handy to have so there it is, it's the very 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 handy now normally I only carry one full canister with me so what that leaves here is again putting this inside and because that's got the hole in the bottom of the support I'm going to put the canister down that way on it which means it sits inside which saves a bit of room and putting that down first also stops you getting the rust marks off the gas canisters going into your pot so I don't know if you can see in there it's up to where are we yep it's up to about the 450 475 mil mark on the outside and that leaves all this space again for my BRS to go in there nice and easy and my, uh, my cloth in there, my little scourer tea bags, coffee, sugar, whatever you want to put in there and you don't have to worry about bringing it to the level you can have it balled in a bit because the pot sits higher uh, the lid sits higher than the pot it does come with a stuff sack, or not, yeah, stuff sack I call them, or a sack with a drawstring on it which feels like and looks like Tyvek that weighs about 8 grams so but I've swapped it into my Dyneema one from Autolite Hiker only a gram lighter but it's taller which means I can get all my pot in there stuff inside the pot and then for one another one another cylinder can sit on top so that's why I've swapped it into this bag but that is pretty good quality it's surprising when I've got a Japanese company here makes all these but they've got their bag made in China so <laughs> that gets me so the Dyneema uh, produced in Germany and it's a company called like Hiker is here in Australia she makes all the bags and a lot of good so I've put a link down to her page so you can have a look see what else she's got if you have to anything like this now the measurements, I wrote them all down with the pot and the cup and the lid in the pouch the total weight is 150 grams and as you can imagine drop the 8 grams if you don't want to carry the pouch is 142 the cup weighs in at 49 grams so nice and light the pot with the lid weighs in 93 grams and minus the lid it weighs in at 74 grams now the measurements are out by one millimeter or half a millimeter with some of these that's neither here or there when you've got something like this <clears throat> so the pot size is 750 mil and the measurements uh, where are we Yeah, from this point here, the brim of the pot to the bottom is 11.8 centimetres, which is 4.7 inches. And to the top of the lid, when the lid's on there, it is 13.2 centimetres, which is 5.2 inches. So still a good size or good compact size pot there. And the widest point, which is across the brim from here to here is uh, a 10.3 centimeters which is about four inches now the cup 
the widest point of the cup which again is the brim it is 10.2 which is like a millimeter difference so still staying around the four inches across and the depth from the top to the bottom is 5.9 centimeters which is about 2.3 inches so that's all the bits and bobs and there's only one more thing the material is the titanium as you can see but it's only 0.3 millimeters thick which gives you the lightness but it is fairly I feel it flexing as I do that but it's nothing serious strong and like I said a lot of these you see when they've been pressed or remolded you'll get all ripple lines in the metal way because it's been squashed and pressed but this there is Uh, you can see very 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 fine nowhere near as deep as any of the other parts I've got but it's all it's like a um, stone wash on it that sort of speckled metal all over on the outside and very similar on the inside and the same on here I did have a look at this one you can see where it has been uh, shaped but the very 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 fine lines the crease lines I think you want to call them and the graduations are nice and clear I don't know if you can see on the camera they're nice and sharp imprints into the metal which you can see very easy on the inside I don't know if you can see there down here. Let's hope you can see that. Yeah, <laughs> what more can I say about it? I do like it and I have been looking forward to getting this set. On the initial views, first impressions, would I recommend this? For what I do, I, I, I can't say for everyone else because everybody else likes things different some are similar some are the same but for me I can recommend this just for the fact that I can fit two canisters in there the cups on the outside I can fit the uh, canister support in there stabilizing bit oh excuse me if I only carry one I've still got basically half the space of this area up into there here to store my lighter my little BOS gas stove there my little scour will fit in there nice and easy I can get coffees in there I can get tea in there I can get sugars in there even though I don't have sugar or oh, anybody who buys one you can get sugars in there let's put it that way you can get your I'm sure you probably fit a little bandana in there if you use one of those for your cloth and for wiping up so it's very good very nice and I do like it so yes I can recommend this for what I like. Let's, let's, do, let's try something while I'm here. I've got the gas, a little gas stove on top of the bottom of the cylinder and we've got a indent, it's concaved. I want to try something whilst we're doing this. No, it doesn't work. <laughs> I was going to see if it worked, but it doesn't. So, I hope you've enjoyed the video and if you have and you're not subscribed already, please go down below and click on the subscribe button click on the like button and also click on the notification bell so you can get notified of all future videos and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much so until next time get out there have some fun and take care